couple of defensive uh, questions. Uh, where, where would you say your, your level of uh, pass rush is right now? Um, something we really need to work on. That was one of the issues from Saturday of getting him off the field on third down uh, and generating pressure on Jake. He's such a good quarterback. Um, but we didn't we don't feel like we generated good enough pressure on him, so we need to do a better job pressuring the quarterback. That's obvious. Where does that come from? How do you do that? It comes from everybody. It comes from uh, the rush from our defensive line. It can come from our scheme. Um, you know, I think we're doing a decent job in coverage. I mean, if we can cover for that long, then we need to get guys that got to get got to be able to get home. So, Jalen would be a, a key guy in that. It seems like is he is he progressing? He's forward? out right now, so okay. We'll see how that presumes. But when a place the player is injured, we don't sit there and say, "Hey, we could have a good pass rush if this guy's here." He's, yeah. not, he's not available to us right now, so um, we, we've got to we got to generate it with who's available to us. So. What is about? It? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I was going to shift to uh, turnovers. I think you forced five in, in uh, five games, two interceptions, three fumble recoveries. Uh, is that is that level or is that level versus where you want it? I, you you always want more turnovers. I don't think anybody will say I don't care if you lead the country in turnovers or mm -hmm. you don't have any turnovers. Would say hey, I'm happy with our turnover production. You want to generate more turnovers. Part of that is is rush. Part of that is um, you know the ability to affect the quarterback so that he can uh, throw in accurate passes and get your hands up and tipping balls and things like that. But we, we we definitely need to generate more turnovers. What kind of improvement have you seen from the inside zone run blocking that play? Um, that particular play, I couldn't tell you specifically. Um, I mean, we've run a we run a lot of plays. We had a lot of success with counter the other night. We had a lot of success with power versus things. So it's just one of our plays and one of our staples. So um, I, I think we're doing okay with it. Um, but like any run play, we could do better with it. With the read option, is is Dorian uh, making the right call on that defensive end? Are there sometimes he could? pull the ball back and keep it himself? Uh, not that I know of. I think he's doing a really good job with it. But we don't run much of it, to be honest with you. So I think sometimes people are a little confused when they watch football games and what they think a play is and not a play is. So. You said a few weeks ago, if you have a quarterback like Dorian, you want to kind of showcase his running ability. How do you think you've been able to do that? Well, I, I didn't. I don't think I said showcase his running ability because I've never said that with a quarterback. So maybe you can check that quote. If I did say that, I was a thousand percent wrong. I think if you have a quarterback that can affect games with his feet, then you do that. But we've never been a team, and I've never been a guy that said, "Hey, let's run the quarterback." You know, we're not going to run quarterback power um, and things like that, where people have designed quarterback runs because I've always believed the best ability is is dependability and is he going to be in there the next snap so to have him be a running back isn't what we're trying to do but if the defense isn't going to uh is going to cheat and not defend the quarterback if you watch the game the other night their defensive end sat on every single run play we had so the lead was to hand the ball off that's a good way so he's he basically accounted for the defensive end so if the defense if the defense isn't going to um, have their end bend and take the running back then the quarterback should hand the ball off and if the quarterback hands the ball off then it's up to the other guys to make sure they're blocking the guys that they're blocking so How's the pass rush impacting the secondary, would you say, right now? Is that well, it's the same thing. I just answered the question. Is yeah. that when we were doing a decent job in coverage and we need to get home with our pass rush. So yeah. that's how it's impacting it. What kind of asset does Darius Pickett bring to this defense? I think he had his career high 16 tackles. Yeah, I'm pick, he pick just keeps getting better each week. You know, he brings a lot of energy, a lot of juice. He's a really, really smart football player. Um, he helps get the, the whole group aligned over there, not only the, line, not only the secondary, but the linebackers. So i um, really happy with, with how he's played so far, and, um, and he keeps getting better, which is a positive thing. It's like you tightened the rotation at running back and receiver. Has that, has that helped uh, identify maybe guys who can make plays and put them into position? No, it, it's got nothing to do with tightening or loosening. It's, it's how you perform in practice and do you earn playing time. So uh, it's entirely done. You know, if, if guys have really good weeks of practice and, and sh show us, you know, our confidence in them has to be on demonstrated ability, not on I hope and wish he could do this. So. Um, if we see it in a game or we see it in a training session, then, um, then we'll use them. So we, they, we need to, they need to show us um, that they can do it. So everything here is earned. You know, nothing's given. So it's not, hey, I hope this guy can make a play. Let's just throw him in a game. Well, that's not fair to the guys that were actually doing it right and, and, and doing it correctly and doing what we want to do from a practice standpoint. So that's what makes practice very competitive for us. Kyle Phillips didn't seem like he was in uniform the other day. He was not in uniform. Kyle was out like in, against uh, Washington. We'll see. I don't know what his status will be this week. Murphy, do you expect him to practice today? I don't expect. I don't know what his status is right now. So some of those guys are kind of see what they can do, and then we'll we'll figure it out. So part of it, just in the beginning of warm up, how do they feel? If they don't feel like they can go, then they're not going to be able to go, and they'll be with the strength and conditioning coaches. If they are, then we'll see. So he's a, he's another guy we just got to keep an eye on this week.
I also I think made his first career start the other day. Was that based on what he had done in practices? And it may be based on what was in the game. So he oh. was in and base, but I, I we, I've always thought of Osa as a starter. So what's in, what's out, that doesn't matter. I think that's a phenomenon that I everybody gets caught up in. Who was in on the first play of the game? Right. I was in on the first play of the game and played one snap, and then the other guy played 92 snaps, but the other guy's the starter. That, I mean, that's not. It really depends on, and a lot of things depend on what's in the game. You know, they may be in no running backs, no tight ends on the first play of the game. Well, then now you're going to get your speed package on the field. So that doesn't mean that the kid's not a starter. It just means depending on what the defense was in. So um, there's a lot made into the starter part, but the one play doesn't mean it. But he's he's always played a significant number of snaps for us but he's, since he's been available since game one. So, um, you know, we consider him a starter. So. What have you seen from the inside linebackers in terms of progress, Tyree Thompson? And well, I think Chris Barnes had his best game for us so far in the last game. You know, was uh, is really starting to get settled in our system, and I think Tyree is the same thing. You know, again, you're talking about a kid that came in from junior college, um, and everything's kind of new to him. But I think the way he's adapted, especially with Josh Woods going down, um, and then. Loke was out for a little bit of time there. Lange was out for a little bit of time there. The two guys that have been consistent and, and practiced every day and trained every day have been uh, Chris and Tyree. And I think, again, like Pickett, they're getting better and better as we as we continue to get reps and continue to get snaps. So, so, so made a big so so made a big play on special teams. It's nice mm -hmm. to see a guy kind of move into a new role like that and, and, and make a play. And he seemed to be excited about contributing in this new role. Yeah, I, I don't know what you mean by new role. Well, I think I mean, everybody has to play special teams here unless you're the starting quarterback. So um, it, it, that's not a new role to us. I mean, he, he's been on team since he's since we've been here. So um, you know, that's part of how do I contribute and how do I make plays. And he did a really nice job, you know, on that kickoff cover. He's a athletic guy that that is is I know Roy has talked about. He's really done a really nice job um, since he's been back on special teams for us. So. Um, Everybody plays special teams, so you know you see Pickett's on special teams, Darnay's on special teams. Uh, I thought Felton did a really nice job on special teams the other night. So um, everybody, depending on who you are, with probably the exception of the quarterbacks, are in one of our four phases of our special teams. So.